Democrats in Virginia feeling very uneasy with less than 24 hours to go until polls open in the governor's race there. Surveys show Glenn Youngkin surging against Terry McAuliffe, leaving the Democrats scrambling to change his message. McAuliffe now claiming the race is not about Donald Trump after making the former president a key piece of his campaign. I call him Donald Trump in khakis. Where's Donald Trump? He's pledged allegiance to him six times. Why isn't he here? Is Trump scared of me? This isn't about Trump. This is about what's happening here in Virginia. And it's not about Trump. It's about who's going to take Virginia to the next level, get us through this COVID crisis. McAuliffe also trying to convince voters he can be trusted on education, despite sending four of his five children to private school. Uh, people trust me on education. We have a great school system in Virginia. Dorothy yeah. and I have raised our five children. Of course, parents are involved in it. Jesse, are comments like that going to hurt him? Yeah, and it's not just about Terry hurting himself, because he has. And that's why he's flip-flopping and backtracking, because even his internal polls must show him losing the momentum. Yunkin is solid. This is a tall, handsome guy with good hair. He's got a I'm nice... I'm going to sleep here. So <laughs> he's got a good delivery. And most importantly, he doesn't have a sloppy mouth that the media can take as a distraction and use against him. But he's also got this. He's got a nice vest. Mm. And this vest works for a number of reasons. This is a red fleece vest. It's now become who he is because he wears it every single day. It's red. You know him when you see it. And that vest works in Virginia. It doesn't work everywhere, but that vest in Virginia, that means you're a professional, but it also means you're casual. It means you're a family guy. And this guy has now shown that he can be all of those things to all of these people. Now, also... He's now seized on this education issue, which is so brilliant because this is traditionally a Democrat issue. And now he's united Republicans, Democrats and independents against Terry and the establishment. And it also softens his image because it makes him look like a caretaker for young children. And also he's neutralized race because he's saying I'm not for segregation because this is what critical race theory is. It's psychological segregation. Terry is for segregation. I'm for bringing back Martin Luther King's vision of a colorblind society. That's what I want, a colorblind society, and that is extremely effective. Interesting. Uh, Katie, about... She didn't mean that. Uh, <laughs> she goes, she goes, she goes, she goes, she goes interesting. <laughs> gotcha. Katie, about, about the Democrat, uh, McAuliffe, claiming yeah. <clears throat> this is not about Donald Trump. How mm. can he say that when he has invoked his name, as we just played the tape, so many times to hurt his opponent? Well, he has realized that Virginia knows that Donald Trump is not on the ballot. And Democrats, for years, with the help of the media, have used Trump as a way to scare people into voting for them on a number of issues. But in Virginia in particular, uh, Glenn Youngkin is, is not just running on education, which is something that Terry McAuliffe shot himself in the foot on during that debate. He's also running on things that people care about, like eliminating the state grocery tax while a grocery is going through the roof. He's been campaigning on wanting to repeal the state gas tax temporarily so people have more money in their pocket. So while Terry McAuliffe has tried to nationalize this race to make it all about Trump and brought in everybody under the sun, Glenn Youngkin's really made it about people in Virginia. Yes, and I think it's also he's made it about everybody. He's made it less political Whereas Terry McAuliffe is a political machine backed by the Clintons, and that's why Glenn Youngkin is getting support from people of all kinds of backgrounds. Greg, Bill Maher mm -hmm. has this warning for Virginia Democrats. Listen. Mm -hmm. I like warning. Terry McAuliffe, he was the governor. He's running again. He should walk away with it. He's neck and neck because he's... The issue became schools. I said this months and months ago, that the issue in the coming elections is going to be what's going on in the schools. Why parents vote and they don't like what's going on in school. They feel like they are losing control. Good point. It's actually a great point. Uh, I'm glad he watches my show. Um, <laughs> we got we cannot forget like the one of the biggest stories in Virginia was the yeah. the unstable scum buckets of project Lincoln Project yeah. who tried to exploit racial conflict by creating a hoax. Right. And. That is to this point in the fact that race has become the prism that the media and the Democrats often decide to see everything through and not even the concern for your children. There are there are columnists and people in the media who claim that uh, when people say uh, you're a concerned parent, they really mean concerned white parent. Mm. So now parenting is being seen through this race racial prism by people like McCullough 
who sends their kids to private schools. Because if you went by their logic, then if you sent your kids to private schools, you are a concerned parent. Ergo, white parent. I don't know what ergo means. It sounds but, it's, good. It, 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 but I think this, this, ho this hoax thing might be that turning point where the Dems have to consider letting go of this racial prism. You know, uh, we, we, it's time to change the tools and start and start like operating at a, on a different, I don't know, in a different manner than they are now. Harold? So uh, there's a lot there. I, I think that <laughs> when you think about the education issue in Virginia, there's no doubt uh, you would not have imagined three months ago that Republicans would have the advantage around it. Now, there are a number of factors, and a lot of them have been raised here. I think I'm a concerned parent. I have two kids, and my kids happen to be black and white, and I, I, I care deeply about them and want the schools to perform well. I know, I know Greg meant that as well. But in this race here, um, two things are going to be learned. If Glenn Youngkin wins, this is the playbook for Republicans next year to, to win in midterms, individual candidates. And it's really a playbook for how do you capitalize on the best of Donald Trump and try to shun the parts that don't do well. I would remind everybody that Republicans probably would be in the majority in the Senate uh, had Donald Trump not divided Republicans in Georgia. Two, if Terry wins, it's a message for Democrats that the, a moderate, down the middle economic message. Remember, for the two of the last four years, Virginia has been the number one state to do business in, according to a rival business network's analysis of this. They base it on taxes, education, livability. Uh, Terry was governor five years ago. So Democrats have to understand, you've got to get back to talking about the economy. You've got to get back to talking about, as James Carville says, the economy is stupid, but understanding where parents are. And this year, it's education. And if Terry does not win this race, this will be probably the biggest reason, the biggest factor as to why. Great preview of what we're going to see play out tomorrow. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.